Hoy vamos a practicar el verbo tener, ¿ok? I just have a few sentences um, and then I have a little assignment for you, ¿ok? So we have tener. See if you can conjugate it for me, ¿ok? Just tell me all the different conjugations. Tener, to have. I'll give you the subject and then you see if you can say the conjugation, ¿ok? Just a little una prueba, little quiz. Yo. Yo tengo. Okay, so I'm going to say the subject and then you give me the form of the verb tener for that subject. What about um, nosotros? Nosotros tenemos. He. Él mm. tiene. They. Ellos tienen. You, informal. Informal you. What is it? ¿Cómo se dice? Tú tienes. What about the formal you? Usted tiene. What about you all? The informal you all, like y'all. Vosotros tenéis. Um, did I get them all? What about... Um, you all, the formal you all. Ustedes tienen. Okay, so just running through the list of that, that grid. Tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tenéis, tienen. Okay, so now we're just going to practice a few sentences using the, word, the verb tener, to have. Okay, so our first one is, I have blue eyes. ¿Cómo se dice I have blue eyes en español? ¿Cómo se dice? While I write it, you write it. Okay? In your notebook. I have blue eyes. Obviously, you're going to need to know how to, you know, talk you need to know the word for eyes and you need to know how to describe things in Spanish um, so like you need to know how to use color words and plural and singular all that stuff so if you don't if you haven't learned how to about adjectives and describing nouns in Spanish um, maybe just either just you know don't try and just see what I write um, and learn about it that way or maybe um, I'll try to give you some links in the comments about videos you could watch first um, to learn about that, okay? So, I have blue eyes. Yo tengo los ojos azules. I don't really have blue eyes, so this obviously is not about me. Yo tengo los ojos negros. Or cafés. ¿Qué piensan? Cafés. Yo tengo los ojos cafés. Okay, next sentence. She has brown hair. She has brown hair. How do you write that or say that in Spanish? There's, there's other ways to say brown hair without using the verb tener, but just for the sake of practicing tener, let's say it like this. Ella tiene el pelo café. Ella tiene el pelo café. Okay. One more. Una frase más. One more phrase. Una frase más. They have a big house. So again, you're going to need to know how to say house and you need to know how to describe it. Okay. They have a big house. How about they the girls? They the girls have a big house. I ran out of room. Did you get it? Remember, always pause the video for more time, okay? Don't, don't, no need to rush, okay? The answer is... Ellas tienen una casa grande. 
ellas tienen una casa grande. Okay, now what I want you to do para practicar for practice I want you to describe yourself and talk about what you have. Okay, so I have uh, your body. Okay, so um, say I have two eyes. I have a nose. I have lips. I have whatever color your hair is. I have brown hair. You could also say I learn um, practice saying I have straight hair. I have um, I have straight hair, and then say I have brown hair. I have short hair. I have long hair. Oh, and if you want to say I don't have hair or I don't have something, all you have to do is put a no in front of the tener form. So if I want to say I don't have eyes, I don't have eyes, no tengo ojos. Simple as that. Okay? So you just put a no in front of that verb. So practice saying what you have. Um, and you could say, I have earrings, I have whatever, whatever you look like today. Just tell me how you look by describing what you have. Okay? I have two hands, I have a neck, and then you can also practice your body parts. Okay? And feel free to practice in the comments below or shoot me an email and I will try to check it, you know, if you need me to, if you want me to. Um, and yeah, that's that. Adiós.